आजादी का अमृत महोत्सव आजादी का सफर विद ए आई आर न्यूज बर्थ ऑफ नेशन इंडिया ग्लोरियस फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट स्ट्रगल द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड हेज एवर विटनेस्ड ए आई आर न्यूज ब्रिंग्स यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ द स्ट्रगल एवरी डे Long before the revolt of 1857, India's tribal communities gave their lives in opposing the colonizers. Dilka Manshi was one of such pioneer Adivasi freedom fighters. He attained martyrdom on the 13th of January 1784. <laughs> Determined to defend his people and land, Tilka organized the Adivasis into an army trained in the use of bows and arrows. In 1770, there was a severe famine in the Santhal region. People were dying of hunger. Tilka looted the treasury of the East India Company and distributed it among the poor. Inspired by this noble act of Tilka, many other tribals also joined the rebellion. With this began his Santhal Hool. the revolt of the santhals he continued to attack the british and their allies from 1771 to 1784 guru mundi ki se te The year 1784 is considered as the first armed rebellion against the British. Tilka Manji attacked Augustus Cleveland, an East India Company administrator, and fatally wounded him. Tilka? Eh, Tilka. Oi, kitra to ka hai re ka na? Aar teri mein dama the. टेल and dragged all the way to the collector's residence at Bhagalpur there his lacerated body was hung from a banyan tree after independence the government erected his statue at the spot where he was hanged also the bhagalpur university has been named after him we pay tribute to the brave son of the soil On the 13th of January 1849, Battle of Chilliamwala was fought during the Second Anglo-Sikh Wars. Sikh army was led by Sher Singh, while the British army was led by Commander-in-Chief Hugh Gough. The Sikh army, though less in numbers than the British, forced the British army to retreat. <laughs> The repulse of the British together with the loss of several guns and men dealt a blow to British morale. The loss of British prestige at Chilliamwala was one of the factors which contributed to the Indian Rebellion of 1857 some 9 years later. Today we also remember Fakir Mohan Senapati. who was also known as the father of modern Oriya literature born on January the 13th 1843 Fakir Mohan Senapati was a prolific author and reformer whose writings also infused the masses with nationalism nadi pari mo jibana jao achi bahi hasi kandi kulu kulu kotha kahi kahi kotha kahi kahi Senapati translated the Ramayan, the Mahabharat and Gita from Sanskrit to the Odia language. 
Senapati entwined nationalism and language together as he believed that nationalism was determined by language. He said that a nation cannot progress by losing its mother tongue and believed that the development of a nation's language and literature is fundamental for the advancement of a country. Fakir Mohan Senapati's contribution to Indian literature remains unparalleled and will continue to inspire the coming generations. That brings us to the end of this episode of Azadi Ka Safar with AIR News. See you in the next episode tomorrow.